Hello and welcome. In this video, I will be talking about solar roadways and how this engineering innovation will better society through its potential electrical energy production, its contribution towards reducing greenhouse gases, and additional benefits such as its integrated lighting and heating systems. Firstly, I will however briefly discuss some obvious disadvantages to solar panels. The first main drawback to solar power as a main source of electricity production is the need to have massive solar farms. These farms take up incredible amounts of space and are not ideal or feasible in areas with large population densities. Also, solar panels work best when pointed directly towards the sun, so since constantly rotating the panels is just not practical, they only work most efficiently during peak sunlight hours when the sun is most directly above. Solar Roadways, however, has found a way around this issue by proposing and developing the concept of using high-strength solar panels instead of asphalt or concrete for our roadways. This is made as a feasible energy source not by efficiency, but rather the sheer volume that could be utilized. In terms of just how much volume, or square footage, that can be utilized, the Solar Roadways company crunched the numbers. In the U.S., more specifically the lower 48, it is estimated that there is about 33,000 square miles of roads, parking lots, driveways, sidewalks, and so on of paved impervious structure. Now given that solar panels used for such a purpose cannot obviously be angled towards the south for maximum energy production, they can still perform very well. Tests were conducted just south of the Canadian border using your typical solar panel. These readily available consumer panels have the capacity to make 230 watts of power for every 13.4 square feet. However, at such latitudes, not being angled towards the sun but rather just straight up, they're about 31% less efficient. Also, the half-inch thick textured glass required to support the loads and frictional demands that a normal roadway requires, an additional 11% efficiency is subtracted. With all that being said, hypothetically, if we could use all the available 33,000 square miles of roadways in the lower 48, these panels would produce over 14 billion kilowatt hours of energy every year. The entire U.S. used only just over 3 billion kilowatt hours in 2009. In just the lower 48 alone, it could be possible to produce enough electrical energy to power the entire world. Now let's talk climate change. With all the nations of this planet hurriedly trying to come up with ways to cut and mitigate its greenhouse gas emissions and attempt to stop and ideally reverse global warming, the potential for solar roadways involvement in this must be discussed. It is estimated that up to 50% of the human greenhouse gas production is directly a result of electricity generation the main contributor being coal-burning power plants. Since solar panels do not emit any waste product whatsoever, if the globe turned entirely to solar, it could then in theory reduce the gas production by 50%. Additionally, it is also estimated that 25% of greenhouse gas emission is due to fossil fuel burning vehicles. If all vehicles were then made to be electric, in which the roads that they would drive on could also charge them, then hypothetically, we could reduce greenhouse gas emissions by up to 75%. With the solar roadways being glass-topped solar panels, painting road lines onto these would block the sun and reduce their ability to produce energy. This issue was easily solved by integrating LED lights into the panels that can easily be programmed into any shape or pattern. This gives endless opportunities for lines, signage, road verbiage, and even decoration. Also, these small panels can sense obstructions, like animals, large rocks, or even collisions, and alert drivers beforehand and even possibly reroute traffic safely, instantly. Furthermore, these smart panels also include integrated heating elements, since the accumulation of snow and ice would block out sunlight, making energy production much more difficult. The panels would then melt any snow or ice on its surface before it could accumulate. However, the surface of the panels would not be warm to the touch, as they would only be heated the minimum amount required to melt the precipitation thus making them more efficient. The greatest benefit to the heating feature of the solar roadways is such that it eliminates the hazards involved with driving in snowy, icy conditions. This would save countless lives annually and keep everyone on the roads a little safer. This then also eliminates the need for costly snow plows that need to be constantly running clearing the roads during the winter months. In summary, solar roadways are a great innovative solution to many issues our society currently faces. They would massively reduce our carbon footprint through clean solar energy, keep our roads much safer for those using them, and quite frankly, would make our roadways look pretty badass. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.